The next way that I used screencasting um, was to provide chunks of direct instruction, um, but it, at times where I would typically maybe waste some class time. So for example, um, I would give a vocabulary quiz in my class and some students would take 15, 20 minutes to complete a vocabulary exam. Um, some students might take the whole class period. Um, so I used to maybe after the vocab exam say, oh, take out a book and read, or um, you can do homework for another class. I didn't like doing that, but it's hard because students take different amounts of time to take an assessment. So I started using screencasting um, to take back that time that otherwise might not be spent in the best way in my class. So every time I would give my students an assessment like that, where students were taking different amounts of time, I would start the next unit, I would start the next lesson, um, and I would just give chunks of direct instruction. So I might take 10 minutes in a screencast to explain uh, the next upcoming concept or complete an introduction to a new story that we were going to read or um, give them the definitions of a term and provide an example of maybe what the term looked like in the literature. And then I would explain in that video also an assignment that they had to do. So in that 10 minutes, they're getting some direct instruction, they're getting an explanation of an assignment. And a lot of times that assignment would be like a graphic organizer or a worksheet um, so that when students were done with the test, they knew, okay, hand in the test, pick up the graphic organizer or worksheet from Mrs. Cunningham, go back to my desk, I'm going to go to my Google Classroom, watch this 10 minute video, and then I start working on the next assignment. Um, that worked out really well, maximized my class time for my students that would take most of the class period to take the test. Um, they had to at least watch the video for homework. Um, they could do it in a study hall, they could do it in a homeroom. It's only 10 minutes. Um, so even if they weren't doing it at home, they just had to find some time during the day uh, that they could watch the video and then everybody would be almost on the same page uh, for the next class period so that I can get rolling with what I want to get rolling with. Um, so that's how I used chunks of direct instruction to maximize that time in my classroom. Another way that I use screencasting is for differentiation um, and depending what the lesson is or what I want the students to do, um, I'm making videos ahead of time. So depending on what and how I'm differentiating, if I need to make three or four different instructional videos, I could do that to help with differentiation so that students go into the Google Classroom and they are um, selecting from whichever video I direct them to or they choose to. Um, that's one way I could do it. Or a lot of times when I differentiate in my classroom, like we're learning the same thing, but then the application of it is what's differentiated. Um, so I can use screencasting to, to again, give the chunk of direct instruction, the lesson. I could give instructions on what to do and then the, the materials that the students have might be differentiated um, so they can always refer back to the video to help them um, and to guide them in, in whatever tasks that I'm doing there.